Good morning. Hi, everybody. My mom here is going to make some apple pie filling while I work. Um, right now, she is currently slicing up the apples and um, getting everything ready to start baking the filling. Hello there. We decided the pie filling couldn't wait until the weekend, so I'm going to go ahead and do it today while my daughter works. And we'll see how it turns out. I have lemon juice in my solution of water there that I'm soaking the apples in until I get them all done. My canning jars and uh, lids are being sterilized and over on the stove. And the pigs are going to enjoy their supper tonight. All these apple peels and the cores. Looks like I have four pounds to go. So I'll bring you back when we get there. Okay, the apples have been drained. We got our seven and a half cups of juice, which we poured into the pan. Uh, then we added, you were paused. I didn't know. We already added the uh, tablespoon of allspice, a tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of nutmeg, uh, we added our cinnamon, which was only one tablespoon, surprised me there, we added 
three-fourths uh, three of a cup of uh, the bottled lemon juice, and I added three cups of sugar, and I added one cup of the sir gel for the thickening. Now, I will take it over to the stove. I will put them on a medium heat, stirring constantly until it comes to a boil. Here we go. Okay, we're on medium. Now I'm going to get all these seasonings and the water, which was drained from the apple juice, so it's more like apple juice. And our sir gel. And we're going to keep stirring and so it gets thick. And it might take a while on medium, but we don't want to scorch it. So I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay, our mixture is thickening right up. Turn it up and high a little bit. While I'm standing here stirring. And they were right. Don't that, take long. that clear gel really thickens it fast. Okay, so now we're going to add back in our apples. You can help me with that, Crystal. Okay. You want to leave it on the stove? Because from here it's going to go over there to fill no, the jars. No, I want you to actually fill the jars over here where the can can see it. Okay. Alrighty then. God, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Okay, let me grab the apples. They're working. Okay, right now. Have you got the... I was just going to grab the bowl. Okay. Start putting them into the jars for the water bathing process. My jars have been sterilized. I have my little de bubbler right here. I have my canning lids and uh, oh, you need the screws. Right in front of me, I need a ladle and no. I need something to wipe the jars with your mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness, these smell so good. I can't wait to get them home and make some apple. I'm topping for these. Now I'm going to fill them to one inch head space. Take just a little tiny bit more on that one. Thank you. Never forget to debubble. You don't want air in your jars. Why is that? Because air will cause it to contaminate the food and your lids may end up popping and the food will be no good. So you'll have done all that work for naught. And one more very important thing is always wipe your jars 
I always wipe the rings also so that my rings don't get rusty. But the most important part is to wipe the top to make sure you have nothing on there or your jars won't seal. Okay, my, we'll grab a lid. Didn't want to drain too well. There we go. And finger tight only. Let me see if I can get to the part where it tells me. It says a half to a half inch to an inch for the jars. And for my elevation, which is under a thousand feet, I am going to water bath for twenty five minutes. So let's get these jars filled. I've already got my canner with the water heating up because these apples are hot. You never want to put a something that you have boiling into your jars and put it into a lukewarm or cold water bath. You want them both to be the same temperature. Otherwise, your glass jars could break and not only do you lose what you've worked so hard to get in that jar, but you've also made another mess that you have to clean up. Crystal, I think we're going to need more jars. So, um, I'd say, yeah, after I finish filling uh, this last jar, I'll put it in the water bath for 25 minutes and we'll bring you back. Okay, so now we're ready to do the water bath on the small jars. my lids. Set that on there. Turn it up to high. They have to be over the top of your lids to make sure that your lids seal when water bathing. If you're pressure canning, it's a different story. They you only have to have enough water in there to come up about uh, a third to half of the way up your jars. And that's to make sure that your pressure canner does not go dry. But water bathing is completely different. They need to be over the top of the lids in order to seal.
12 at 25 minutes is up. Time to see how our jars did. I also wanted to mention, because I realize not everybody has ever canned in their life, there might be beginners out there that are looking forward to doing this. The reason for the lid to be covered in a water bath and only doing your ring finger tight is so that the boiling water and the pressure can push any air out of your jar before it seals. You don't want any air in there. And that is the process that it has to go through in order to seal the jar. So never put your rings on real tight so that air can escape and your lid can seal. They look pretty good. In pressure canning, your pressure canner is under so much pressure that it automatically pushes the air out of your jars without having to have the water covering the lids. Now, as you can see, I still have the three quarts over there to do. And they will take the same amount of time as the pints, which is a first for me. Usually quarts take longer, but not in this recipe. Mm. Mm. One more jar to go. And there we have it. Six beautiful jars of homemade apple pie mix. Hopefully we'll turn out every one of these will pop. And all the water will be, all the uh, air will escape from the jars. The uh, lids will go down, they will set for 24 hours, then we'll mark what's inside the jar, put the date on it, and add it to the canner. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, the bell, and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.